What is going on, YouTube people? Neo Cards and Comics here. Little CGC card submission. That's right. CGC is now accepting Marvel cards. And Spider-Man Metal just came out that lot this past week or two weeks ago now. And I got a bunch of stuff to send in. They also just recently updated their bulk program that you only need 25 cards to submit bulk now instead of 50. So I scrounged up 25 cards, sending them off at the $15 rate. For the bulk stuff, I am not paying for subgrades. The extra 15 bucks for subgrades just does not make sense. So this is essentially, this is going to run me 400 bucks. Uh, basically a $400 test submission. One, I kind of want to feel them out to see how they grade. Two, I also want to see how the secondary market reacts to this stuff firsthand. You know, I want to put it out there. I want to see what it sells like. I want to see, is it liquid? Uh, I want to see how the, the Marvel audience responds to it. And some of this stuff I just want to keep and I want it in a CGC slab as well. And then we're also slipping in one non-bulk card and we'll, we'll get that one off first. Uh, I've shown this on social, but I don't think I've actually done a straight pickup video on it. But I did acquire a low series Gwen Red PMG. Uh, this is number 24 out of 100. It does have some issues. Uh, there is a little white on the corner there. Uh, a little white on the corner there. This is just dust. Uh, and a little white, a little tiny white on the corner up top. I'm going to guess, I think this is probably around a seven, seven and a half, but I, I'm just, you know, I, I'm uncharted territory with how CGC grades. I believe they grade pretty tough. I'm basing the seven off of my red Gwen from 2017, which got a PSA seven and is in very similar shape. White on the corner there, white on the corner there white on the corner up there and then the back is pretty decent the back on this is actually pretty decent all things considered so that's kind of how i'm getting to the 7 7.5 uh because that got a psa 7 so this one is not going bulk uh this is going standard because of the declared value uh, i need it up to it falls between the 500 and thousand dollar declared value that is just dust inside the penny sleeve that is not a mark so we're all good there. Um, so this one, I, I should get back first. I have to send it. I'm shipping them all together. This one will ship back to me separately once it's done. A little annoying there because extra 20 bucks in shipping to have one card shipped back. Uh, so this one is going off. We'll see what it's like in the CGC slab. If I like it, I may send this one and my patterned off to them uh, that I have PSA slabbed. These are for PC, so I don't really care. I care more about the aesthetics of the card in the slab than I do the value associated with it. So we'll see what that one looks like. Uh, that one's going to go out. And these will, you're watching this Tuesday morning, most likely. I am recording this on the weekend prior, uh, so I'll be dropping these off Tuesday in the mail. It is too late in the day to get to the post office, and Labor Day kind of screwed me up. The rest of this is all Spider-Man Metal Base Parallel. And a few 90s cards to round out the submission. So let's go ahead and run through these. Uh, first up, we have a Black Widow Grandiose. Now, some of these cards definitely have issues. Most of them are on the back. You can see there's a little white in the bottom left-hand corner there. Uh, a little chip at the top there. Once again, I don't know how this stuff's going to grade. I don't expect many 9.5s in this stack. I will be straight honest with you. I'm just kind of, I want to see how the cards come back, how they look in the slab and how they graded them. And then I could use that and spin that knowledge going forward to kind of keep in the back of my, eye, back of my head, what to look for in regards to how they're going to grade if I am gunning for nine fives. So like I said, these cards are rough condition wise. I will also be curious to see if they take that into account because very few of these cards are clean. They kind of all have issues on the back with the way they were cut. Will they uh you know alleviate or not alleviate, but will they take in that will they take that into account when they're grading? I don't know. Up next we have a Hobgoblin Low series. 
grandiose. Really like that image and really like the grandiose parallel. Black Panther High series. I would potentially actually pair this up. I have FF52 and a 6.5 white pages. Uh, so depending on how this comes back, I might actually just display this with the comic. Scarlet Witch High Series Gold. This would go nicely with my X-Men 4. Uh, and same thing, you know, if we look at the backs of these, I made sure the fronts were pretty clean, but there are some issues on the backs of some of these cards, like a little white corner down there on the bottom. Uh, I tried to make sure the fronts were as clean as possible, and that's kind of what I focused on. Daredevil Yellow High Series. Really like these yellows. Black Panther Yellow Low Series. Spider-Man Yellow High Series. Iron Man Yellow Low Series. And I did find, I think the stuff in the blasters looked a little cleaner than the stuff I pulled out of the hobby boxes. I'm wondering if it was printed later in the life cycle and printed a little better. Hobgoblin uh, Yellow Low Series. Uh, we have a silk, just a straight base card. Once again, for 15 bucks, I'm willing to take a shot on base. A little white up there on the corner. We have two Venom base low series. Fantastic artwork on this. Two Spider-Man low series. These are the Ben Rileys, I believe. Really like the image. Wolverine low series, base once again. Spider-Man 2099, two low series base. Two Ghost Spider low series. Once again, just base. And now we got some 90s stuff. From 1992, Jim Lee X-Men. These were actually cards at one point in time. I had pulled out for PSA and never got around to sending them. Uh, two the same card, two Rogues. Iconic image, classic Jim Lee artwork on this. Uh, and like I said, again, trying to get a feel for how they may or may not grade these uh, because I potentially may want to send more of 92 Jim Lee to them. Uh, next up from 1992, Marvel Universe Series 3 to Carnage. And for those not aware, this is Carnage's first card. So we have two of these going out. Cool image. Always really like this set. Another 92 Marvel Universe, this one of Venom. And then one last 92 Jim Lee, uh, the blue team X-Men, uh, my favorite X-Men team, probably from when I was a kid. It's, a, it's, it's close between this one and like the Claremont Golden Years one, uh, basically like Giant Size X-Men number one team. A little bit later than that, like when... Uh, Kitty Pride comes on and, you know, some of the other characters start coming in. Basically like the Dark Phoenix era uh, of X-Men. Between that team and this team is my two favorites. Uh, but always really like this card. So we're sending this one. And this one's pretty clean. Um, so we'll see how those go. So that's the submission. We have 25 bulk mix and match. And then the red PMG. The red PMG, hopefully we see a mail day on that uh, pretty quick. I don't know how their turnaround times are on standard. I believe it's 10 business days for a standard submission. So we should see this one back pretty quick. Bulk is running about 30 days. So I hope to see that back in early October. We'll find out. Uh, and I hope these are some of the first Spider-Man metal cards slapped. We'll see how they come back, see how they look. And then most importantly, you know, the stuff that I want to keep, I'll keep. And the stuff that I want to resale, see how the market reacts to Marvel stuff in a CGC slab. My general consensus is that PSA is still going to be the king for resale, but I do think character collectors, people that PC, people that are grading for PC, for Marvel specifically, I think are going to lean CGC for that stuff. What do secondary market prices look like? No idea. My best guess, PSA will still carry quite a big premium, uh, but I think CGC will be an option for a lot of people, especially at the low end. Now, 
I do expect to get bulk PSA pricing pretty quick. And who knows, by the time these are in the mail, before they even get to Florida, that could have rolled out. Will it be 15 bucks? I don't know. Would I send a lot of this stuff to PSA at, say, 20 bucks a card? Uh, I honestly don't know. A lot of this, like I said, is me kind of feeling out CGC for grading and also feel, feeling out how this stuff's going to react on the secondary market. So this is as much of an experiment as it is anything else. So, you know, we'll kind of see what happens. I'm taking one for the team on this one, potentially. Uh, 400 bucks in grading fees for the bulk stuff, including shipping to and from. Uh, and then this one's going to run me about 50 or 60 bucks, maybe a little bit more uh, with shipping, but I have to pay a lot higher tier for this one uh, because it is over a $500 card. So that's all I have for you guys and girls. I got to get these boxed up. The paperwork's all filled out and get it off in the mail. We will catch you guys and girls on the next one. Peace.